Hi, my name is Delian Postia. I am a senior consultant at Inifront. The following presentation is about RightFax Management Pact. I will start by presenting the RightFax uh, configuration that we are about to monitor. We will have uh, two RightFax servers sharing the SQL database and common disk storage also used to share uh, RightFax resources. As I mentioned, here is a look at the Enterprise Fax Manager with both servers in the view. Let's look at the server module configuration. Here is the SQL connection. Same database shared between the servers. And here is the data sharing configuration. Before importing the management pack, it is uh, very important that uh, you enable agent proxy on all the agents deployed on the right fax servers. This is the configuration that I'm talking about. As for the SNMP configuration, on SCOM server, please note that there is no need to install SNMP service as a feature. You see, I have only the default SNMP trap service here and it's disabled and this is by default. For the SNMP service configuration of the RightFax servers, please follow the open text RightFax installation and administration guides. Of course, here is the configuration that I have configured for SNMP service on RightFax 02. Traps is important and security tab as well. The community names, this will be used in SCOM configuration. After following the normal procedure to import the right fact management pack, here's what you need to configure in order to make it work. Select authoring, then scope down to right facts common. and select RightFax common scripted discovery. Override for all object of RightFax C and enter your license key. Next thing to do is to configure the SNMP community strings to use. For this, select administration, run as configuration accounts and create an account like I have here. here. This would be used for all RightFax MP, SNMP workflows. Enter, of course, the credentials as they are configured on uh, SNMP service configuration in RightFax servers. Make sure you distribute this to all management servers. Then the account that you just created, the community distributing account, has to be used in uh, SNMP monitoring account run as profile. This has to be used for class objects like RightFax SNMP agent watcher. After all this configuration is completed, in a relatively short amount of time, you should get on the RightFax deployments diagram a view like I have it here. Please note that in addition to the two servers that are sharing the same database and common disk storage, I have another instance of a separate RightFax server that is uh, configured using the local SQL Express database. Let's browse through the objects that are discovered by the management pack. And I will start with the RightFax deployment. A RightFax deployment is everything that is tied together around a common database in a RightFax deployment. Let's now focus on what has been discovered for the shared services configuration. So this is the common database defining the deployment and I have two document doc transport servers 
the right track server is discovered with the disks come on the storage paths different objects for each one of them and the database with the connection here the same for the other day right track server the SNMP agent is discovered and the work server with a service that is about to be monitored the remote host configuration in case this is remoted a remote host work server will be discovered So here is what is m going to be monitored on each one of the rows on a, a right tax installation. On a doc transport role, there are two services, doc transport module service and RPC server module. On the fax server, we have multiple services monitored here. And in addition to this, we do have availability for each one of the common disk storage paths or for the database. So availability of these resources is going to be enabled. For the SNMP agent, here is what is monitored. We are monitoring for availability of the SNMP agent, so we make sure that uh, the probes are working, SNMP probes are working. And we are monitoring also the current fax queued against the threshold, which is configurable. For work servers, we have all the work server modules discovered locally or remotely, and each one of them will monitor its own service. For RightFax SNMP agents, here are the five tasks that are made available by the management pack. If I select one of the agents and then I want to know for how long the right track server is running, I executed the task and it's returning that this is running for one day, 13 hours approximately. And finally, here are the performance counters that are collected by the rules inside the management pack. Fax receives, fax schedules, fax sent, available disk space, currently in use, fax server internal events queue. And in order to demonstrate uh, the alerting capabilities of, uh, enabled by the management pack, I will shut down the shared database server. And we will have a quick look at the right text alerts. We already got SNMP traps. Please note that uh, the alerts are coming with the alert suppression. So you will not get two alerts with having the same description. The alerts are pretty descriptive. They have the trap computer, trap source, trap severity, and the trap message. Other alerts are for shared path unavailable and should be for database unav being unavailable. And of course, we get also availability for the SNMP agent will tell us that SNMP agent is not longer available as well. This is also nicely 
recorded by the Red Flags deployment diagram where you can pinpoint the problem quickly. In another failure scenario, if uh, one of the work server modules stops, a corresponding alert would be soon received and we can quickly trace down to what is the problem in the diagram here. RF work 3 is done. This concludes my RightFax MP demonstration. Thank you for watching this video.